Hello everyone, welcome to Biomedical Engineers TV. As we proceed to this video, I request you start watching from the part one, part two, and at last this video, so you can understand the defibrillators in systematic and a simple manner. In this video, we will cover AED, pacemaker, and AICD. Let's begin the video with advisory external defibrillators, or automatic external defibrillators. An important development in the field of defibrillators has been the development and successful use of smart, automatic or advisory external defibrillators, AEDs, which are capable of accurately analysing the ECG and of making reliable shock decisions. They are designed to detect ventricular fibrillation with sensitivity and specificity comparable to that of well-trained paramedics. Then they deliver automatically or recommend advisory an appropriate high-energy defibrillating shock. AEDs are portable life-saving devices designed to treat people experiencing sudden cardiac arrest, a medical condition in which the heart suddenly and unexpectedly stops beating. The AED system includes accessories such as a battery and pad electrodes that are necessary for the AED to detect and interpret an electrocardiogram and deliver an electrical shock. There are two main types of AEDs, public access and professional use. Public access AEDs can be found in airports, community centres, schools, government buildings, hospitals, and other public locations. They are intended to be used by laypeople who have received minimal training. Professional use AEDs are used by first responders, such as emergency medical technicians, EMTs, and paramedics, who receive additional AED training. AEDs can be semi-automated or fully automated. Semi-automated defibrillators analyse the heart's rhythm and if an abnormal heart rhythm is detected that requires a shock, the device prompts the user to press a button to deliver a defibrillation shock. Fully automated defibrillators analyse the heart's rhythm and deliver a defibrillation shock if commanded by the device software without user intervention. The next defibrillation device is AICDs. Automatic Implantable Cardioverter Defibrillators AICDs, are designed to detect and correct ventricular tachycardia or ventricular fibrillation. Programmable therapies include anti-tachycardia pacing for ventricular tachycardia and or defibrillatory shocks when appropriate. Indications for implantation continue to evolve and the patient's populations eligible for AICDs continue to expand. Current recommendations include patients who are clearly at high risk for ventricular arrhythmias and sudden cardiac death. Implantable cardioverter defibrillators, ICDs, are devices capable of performing cardioversion, defibrillation, and in some models, heart pacing. ICDs are commonly used in patients who are at risk of dying from abnormal heart rhythms and sudden cardiac death. When an abnormal heart rhythm is detected, the ICD delivers a shock to re-establish a normal rhythm. Patients with HF and or previous MIs are at risk for sudden cardiac death and can benefit greatly from an ICD. For this reason, patients with stage B HF precipitated by an MI are often outfitted with an ICD. Let's wrap up with implantable pacemakers. A pacemaker is a small device that's placed under the skin in your chest to help control your heartbeat. It's used to help your heartbeat more regularly if you have an irregular heartbeat arrhythmia, particularly a slow one. Implanting a pacemaker in your chest requires a surgical procedure. Types of pacemakers Depending on your condition, you might have one of the following types of pacemakers. 
Single Chamber Pacemaker This type usually carries electrical impulses to the right ventricle of your heart. Dual Chamber Pacemaker This type carries electrical impulses to the right ventricle and the right atrium of your heart to help control the timing of contractions between the two chambers. Biventricular Pacemaker Biventricular pacing, also called cardiac resynchronization therapy, is for people with heart failure with abnormal electrical systems. This type of pacemaker stimulates the lower chambers of the heart, the right and left ventricles, to make the heart beat more efficiently. As we've reached the end of our defibrillation series videos, I really appreciate everyone who has supported our channel by subscribing to it. As we are making simple explanation videos on biomedical instruments on this channel, we hope you support us by subscribing the channel and sharing it. In the next series of videos, we learn about electrical safety of biomedical equipment. Thanks for watching Biomedical Engineers TV. See you guys in the next video.